Mike is in the building. Wait, wait, let's let's simplify that now. We're gonna, we're gonna go with something a little bit different. What's good? Mike is in the building, back with a brand new video, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five tips and tricks on how to lane split throughout New York City. Now, I know I've been doing this for a couple of years, and a lot of people have been swagger jacking. <laughs> on how to actually split through the traffic, but it's all good. All right, right from the jump, I'm gonna make this very clear. By no means I'm saying lane splitting is legal through New York City. It is not, absolutely 100% not. As long as you're traveling through a safe speed, you're not weaving in and out of traffic or endangering people, the police tend to be a little bit chill about it. They don't make such a big fuss. Do this at your own risk. I'm not saying for you to go out there and lane split and say, yo, Mike from the Clutch First channel told me it's all good. We could flow the traffic, feel me? <laughs> Before we get into those top five, we're gonna start with that bonus tip. When you're watching my videos, it looks like I'm flowing freely, smooth, no issues as I'm going through traffic, and it looks like I'm jamming, right? Wrong, absolutely wrong. Inside my head, it slows down. I'm seeing ahead of me, I'm seeing what's on the side of me, I'm seeing small movements and in other drivers that's on the road where their eyes are looking or where they're head checking. So everything else slows down for me, even though for you guys. extremely calm, relaxed, and observation is super key. If a car slightly even shifts their tire, I could see that. I could somewhat predict what's gonna happen. And that in itself, if you can do it successfully, you will always lane split and get back home exactly how you left. For my very first tip, you wanna cover all your controls. You wanna cover your clutch, you wanna cover your brake, at least one to two fingers on each one of them, and do not forget to cover your rear brakes. You wanna keep it lightly on there, just in case you have to react. You're better off jamming on your rear brake before you jam on your front brake. Feel me? Because some people might not have ABS, some people do. In the end, you want to cover your front brake, your rear brake, and your clutch levers. That way you can react very quickly between an erratic situation. For my second tip, which is very important as well, you want to lane split between channel one and two. 95% of motorcycles that lane split, they ride in that lane. So you're not, you and your buddies are not occupying four lanes, lane split, creating havoc. You don't have to worry about off ramp and oncoming ramps. The traffic tend to be moving at a steady pace on those two lanes. All you have to do is stay steady there and be very observant and you should be good to go. That third tip, don't park yourself in the paint. You ever play b-ball before? Cover the paint? Not in this game. So you want to spend as least amount of time, usually on the highway, either you have the dotted painted lines or the solid. You want to not park your bike on that paint. You don't want to ride that. That reduces grip, traction on your motorcycle, your rear wheel. You could slip. Also, it tends to wobble a little bit. So you want to make sure you don't park the bike on the paint. If you don't have an option, ride it as quickly as you can, as least as you can, and then get out of there. Put yourself on the pavement. Crucial. Freeway interchanges demand extra attention, meaning on-ramps, exiting, mergers, 
you're basically on high alert because you always have your stragglers. That one person that was on the fastest lane just remember they have to exit 67. They bolt across. These are the moments where things tend to go wrong for a rider. So you want to make sure you're sharp when those lane changes, the mergers, the on-ramp, off-ramps are coming. You're paying close attention. <music> And final tip, you'll thank me later. Smash that thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Let me know if these are helpful. If it is, I'll probably do another video like this with even better tips for other things you might be interested in. Here's tip number five. Two lanes with significant speed difference are extremely, extremely dangerous. I cannot stress of how dangerous that is. When you think about it, when you hear how I explain it, you will let me know in the comment section down below if it is or if it's not. Just keep in mind, there will be a lot of abrupt reaction from drivers. Once the traffic slows down enough on theirs, they're gonna quickly jump on the next lane. So if you're in between that, take heavy precaution and make sure you're rocking that Beethoven in the back of your mind, you're ahead of the game, you can see it, you can predict it slightly, and you can trail brake from behind you and slow down slightly because those two lanes running at significant pace Whenever the other slows down, drivers tend to try to go to the other one so they could be a little bit faster, and that is extremely dangerous, and it brings all of our tips all together. Be ahead of yourself, cover your rear and front brakes. If you are around these vehicles, pass them as soon as possible, or fall back, feel me? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if these tips help you. And if you have any tips for me, drop them in the comment section down below. And if you know somebody that's interested in this channel or that might enjoy my content, have them subscribe. If you're interested in the shirt that I'm rocking, it's from my sponsor, MotivationUSA.com. Use coupon code CLUTCH FIRST for anything that you see on my bike. For a deal, I'll catch you in the next one. Life for Research is calling me in between shooting a video, of course. What's good, brother? Chilling, what's good? Everything's good already? Alright, cool, cool, cool. I'm just I'm just doing a take right now, trying to finish up.